You were born to be more. You know it and you can feel it in your gut. But sometimes there's just no next time. There's no extra time. There is no second chance. Things change, times change, even if you don't. People come and people will go. No one has the ability to stop time. So why not become the reason that time stops? Become unstoppable and find the source of flow in your life. Have you considered the cost of doing nothing? The cost of inaction? The time is not right. I want to perform better in my life. I want to perform better in my work so I can earn more and enjoy more and become more. Having said that, the time's just not right and I cannot make the commitment that I need to do if I really want to achieve. The fact is you know what you should do, but knowing is just not enough. The secret to finding joy in your life can be summed up in one very, very simple word. And that simple word is progress. Joy equals progress. When you solve a problem, you become bigger than what you were before. And if joy is progress, then progress takes commitment. My book, Find Your Flow, Take the Path of Mastery, is a reminder of the commitment it takes to become a good at something, to find progress in your life, and knowing that progress equals joy. My book is simply a reminder of the commitment it takes to find joy and to find progress in your life. If you're not ready to commit, then this book or my online course of the same name will not be for you. Having said that, if you're looking for a route to build more improvement into your life, to feel like you're progressing in life in a way and becoming more, achieving more, then this book and my forthcoming online course of the same name will be the very thing that you will need. You will learn to source flow in your own life. You will have the ability to embark on a journey of joy and constant improvement in all that you do. <clears throat> I just want to quickly share a story with you of uh, how I discovered flow in my life and the things that I had to overcome and the learning outcomes that I had from going through this particular experience. Many years ago, when I was 14 years of age, I would be a green belt doing jiu-jitsu. And I was training with some yellow belts and orange belts, and we were going through the green belt syllabus. And in the other corner, there were some more advanced grades that included my brother, and they were purple, brown, and black belts. And they were doing the brown belt syllabus that consisted of a a far more advanced move and something that I'd never done before. And this throw consisted of almost um, taking someone from behind, uh, breaking their balance, and as you rolled forward, you took their, you took their balance with you and you almost, uh, flip, well you did, you actually flipped them over your leg as you rolled to the floor. <clears throat> And uh, I can remember getting called over by the senior instructor, uh, Sensi John Hall. And he asked me to come over and to do this technique. <clears throat> and I was wondering why I, 14 years of age, was getting invited to train with people that were 17, 18 years and older. <clears throat> they were obviously stronger than me. They were obviously bigger, faster, more capable because they were of a senior grade and several grades above me. So I couldn't quite understand why I was being asked to perform this particular uh, technique. And when I was asked, my immediate thoughts were, I'll never be able to do it. How am I gonna keep up with everybody in this particular lineup? It's just not gonna happen. And of course, what I'm experiencing is sort of walk over 
from the group I was training with to this more advanced group was my limiting beliefs in me. The feeling that I had failed even before I had just started. And uh, I just didn't want to be there. I, I was just hoping he would say, well, just, just go back to your group. But he persisted, he'd show me the technique, and then he asked me to join him, which I then did. And uh, there wasn't much discussion. There was just like a, a, a rhythm, a pace to what was going on. And I was expected to keep up with the pace. So the person in the middle was the person that was going to be thrown. We were in the line out and we just had to do it and keep pace with everybody else. So it was as fast as the guy got up, the next one then committed to the throw. And as we went through it, the, the, the technique that we were practicing, practicing was executed faster and stronger and I was expected to keep up with the rhythm of what was going on. Now after I'd done it the first time I was expecting the chief instructor Sensei John Hall to say to me John thanks very much thanks for your effort but just go back to your other group. I didn't expect him to say to me okay uh, stay with us and uh, continue and even if he had done I was almost expecting him then to say to stop me with everything that I was doing or every time I was uh, trying to do the technique perhaps to try and break it down and uh, to, uh, to show me the more refined or the subtle nuances of movements within the techniques to help me perform it better but that didn't happen what he expected me to do was just to perform and it was that integration of learning the body was learning to adjust on the move and to keep up with the pace now after i'd done the first throw sensei john hall said to me that's great just keep up and that's exactly what i did and with each throw that i did i was making slight adjustments because I knew whether it felt right and I instinctively knew whether it felt wrong. So I was making these small adjustments and the adjustments I was making as I was performing the technique were to improve the quality of what I was delivering. So I was self-improving as I was doing the technique and not by somebody passing me a book, not by somebody asking me to go onto the computer, by feeling, by experiences, I was learning, I was integrating the learning. I couldn't explain to myself mentally how to take the nuances in of the movements that I was doing. I had to experience it. And once my body experienced it, I began to integrate the learning from it.